There are unique things happening in this medical office building, home to Apollo Cardiology and the practice of Dr. Michael Twyman. You may just turn red, temporarily that is, for just about 10 minutes. And as a result, you may see hair growth, less wrinkles, and faster recovery from a workout. But how is it used in a cardiology practice? And why? And what is it? All well, everybody calls it red light therapy. The scientific term is photobiomodulation, or PBM for short. It used to be also known as low-level light therapy or low-level laser therapy. So it has lots of different names, but it's essentially using light therapy to change your biology. So heliotherapy is using sunlight to change your biology. This is using man-made light. It used to be lasers. Now the LEDs have kind of caught up as far as technology. So it was initially discovered in the late 1960s. It was actually discovered on accident. They were doing some research on animals, doing cancer research, and they were using a red ruby laser. And they realized that using this laser on these animals, they would regrow their fur coats quicker. And so hair regeneration was one of their first use cases for this type of technology. Most of the technology was discovered in Russia, and because of the Cold War and translation issues, much of that science didn't make it to the West till the 1990s, where NASA took up a lot of it and was using this technology on the space station. So now it's just reaching the critical mass, the biohackers, the health optimizers are getting into this because it's a beauty aid. It can help with collagen production, hair growth. That's why most people want to first think about it, but it has a lot of use cases, especially in the musculoskeletal world. So a lot of athletes will use this to recover after a hard training session or an injury. The majority of the professional sports teams have a device like this in their you know, clubhouses at this time. You know, the heart is very energy dense. It's powered up by mitochondria, the you know, powerhouses of the cells, people call them. Um, photobiomodulation works on the mitochondria. So the way it works is that that light penetrates in the mitochondria. I'll speak a little science first, but it you know, activates cytochrome C oxidase. It's the four cytochrome. And when that happens, three things. Nitric oxide is released from that four cytochrome. Nitric oxide is a gas that dilates blood vessels. Nitric oxide keeps blood pressure normal. But nitric oxide in the mitochondria acts as a handbrake. It slows down energy production. So when these light devices hit that nitric oxide, it kicks it out of that space, and energy flow can happen. Then ATP is made. ATP is the energy currency. But it also will decrease inflammation, which we have from our prior experience is a big issue in the world is chronic inflammation. This lowers inflammation, lowers oxidative stress. So most things in life are come down to oxidative stress, inflammation. If you can lower those, you don't age as much. But in cardiology, if you can put energy in the system, the pump function works better. If you don't have inflammation in your arteries, you don't tend to build up plaque in your arteries. So how often should someone do red light therapy? So it really depends on what the indication is using it for. So if it's an injury, you may be using this twice a day, but if it's kind of a general well-being, maybe two, three times a week. The good thing is that it's relatively safe. There's really no major contraindications or reasons not to use it. Okay, um, that was my next right. question. Yeah, so it's generally safe. Now, how long is the session? It really depends on what type of device you have. If you have kind of a professional grade, this is gonna be generally less than 10 minutes a session. This is a full body panel, but you don't have to have a full body panel to make it work. There's home devices that are $200 and you can get similar benefits. You might just have to use a little bit longer time. So sometimes I use the analogy of like cooking a turkey. You know, it's how long are you cooking the turkey for at what temperature? Well, this one has higher radiance or high power density. So a lot of photons of light are coming out of the device. So your cells are absorbing that. So it's kind of like a fire hose versus a drip out of a faucet. So not that it can't work, but you just need more time with a lot of the consumer devices at home. Okay, and you can't use it too much. Well, there is something called the biphasic response. So if you don't use it at all, you get no benefit. There's a very large window of benefit, but then there's a part where you can basically supersaturate the receptors and you basically will shut them down. And so you can kind of get into where a point where you'll get no more benefit. You actually will lose any of the benefits you got earlier in the session. Okay, so it cancels and it out. So it cancels it out essentially. And if you do a whole lot, yes, there's potential harm if you don't know what you're doing with it, but that's extremely rare. Anything else you want to share about red light therapy? That it's something that I personally do every single day. It activates stem cells, helps repair injuries, but head to toe, helps with hair regrowth, helps with collagen, 
So a lot of wrinkle reduction clinics use these things. Helps with oral health. Can help people who have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition for the thyroid. So that red and infrared penetrates into the thyroid and lowers inflammation. Can activate stem cells that live in your sternum. The mesenchymal stem cells are in the bone marrow in your sternum. Can help the gut microbiome by helping power up the good bacteria. And mostly it's the musculoskeletal injury. So it helps lower inflammation in the joints and the muscles. So you can recover faster after an exercise routine or an injury, but the kind of the biohacker way is treat yourself an hour before you want to do the workout and the workout will be easier. You want this to be stronger, but you're going to have more endurance. So a lot of use cases, not a lot of risk. Right. Right. Amazing. It sounds wonderful for inside and out. Correct. Yeah. It's one of my best longevity biohack tools. Oh, 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 oh,